Welcome to Electro Online. Now here we're given a set of five angles with their measures and we're trying to determine the measures of the other angles given. So given that the measure of angle 4 is 58 degrees, what is the measure of angle 1? So let's take a look. Here I have angle 4 and here I have angle 1. These are opposite angles and we know that opposite angles must have the same measure. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 must also equal 58 degrees. Now obviously, you can't have these conditions true at the same time for all the angles. That wouldn't, that wouldn't work because we know that these are parallel lines indicated by the little red arrows and this is the transversal. But ignoring that, we'll just take one condition at a time. So the next condition, the measure of angle 7 is equal to 112 degrees. What is the measure of angle 2? Well, here's angle 7 and here's angle 2. Now it looks like these are what we call alternate exterior angles and we know that they must be equal. So therefore, since 7 and 2 are alternate exterior angles, we know their measures must be equal. That means the measure of angle, uh, of angle 2 must also be 112 degrees. Next we'll look at measure of angle 5 being 74 degrees. What is the measure of angle 4? So here we have the measure of angle 5 being 74 degrees. What is the measure of angle 4? Now you can take a look at these. These are what we call alternate interior angles and by the rule they must be the same. So if we have the measure of angle 5 being 74 degrees, that means the measure of angle 4 must also be 74 degrees. Now we have the measure of angle 3 is 115 degrees. That's this angle right here. What is the measure of angle 5? Now take a look at 3 and 5. You can see that these are what we call consecutive interior angles. Hmm. Consecutive interior angles, their measures must add up to 180 degrees. In other words, the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 5 must equal 180 degrees. And we're told that the measure of angle 3 is 115 degrees. So 115 degrees plus the measure of angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees or the measure of angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees minus 115 degrees. Messed up right here. There we go. Subtracting that, we therefore have the measure of angle 5 must be equal to, looks like 65 degrees. And that's how we find out what the measure of angle 5 is. Finally, if they tell us that the measure of angle 8 is 62 degrees, what is the measure of angle 1? Angle 8 is over here, angle 1 is over here. We know that these are what we call alternate exterior angles, and alternate exterior angles must be equal, so therefore we can say that the measure of angle 1 is also 62 degrees. And again, these are independent exercises. You can't have all those conditions true at the same time, but if each of those conditions are true one at a time, then those are the corresponding answers. And that is how it's done.